Hello, spiritual biz success peeps. How are you guys? It has been a while. I do apologize. I have had a cold and I haven't been able to talk to you guys, but I am now here. And so welcome uh, to all the new members. I've uh, said I've been offline for a couple of weeks, so uh, there's probably a ton of new members. So welcome to everyone who was new to spiritual biz success. This is the perfect place for you to learn how to build your spiritual business and take it well beyond the six figure mark. So uh, I want to talk about two things that I see consistently not happening with people that are struggling with their business and that do happen and will change your business if you do them uh, all the time. And really, the first thing I'm talking about here is about being consistent. We seem to get if so inconsistent in what we do. We inconsistently uh, eat correctly. We don't go to the gym like we should. We don't like there's so many things that we should be doing that we just don't do on a consistent basis. And when we're consistent with what we're doing, it works. Things start to work and things start to kind of uh, head in the right direction. So I'm talking about being consistent in your business. Are you consistently stepping out and talking to new clients? Are you consistently sending out emails to your clients? Are you consistently posting videos in your Facebook group? What are you doing in your business to consistently make things happen? So a lot of people will come to me and be like, I just can't figure it out. I just can't get it to work. And I usually discover it's because they're doing things very haphazardly. They'll do like one post and they'll wonder like, why didn't it work? Or they'll do one webinar and say, oh, that webinar didn't work. Webinars don't work. Or they did that one video in their Facebook group. and Oh, well, videos don't work. Well, guys, I have news for you. One of anything doesn't work. It's like going to the gym one time and expecting to have a six pack of ads. It doesn't work that way. So when you're building your business and when you're growing and scaling your business, it is so important to be consistent. Create a calendar so that you can keep yourself on track. If you're posting in your Facebook group, make sure you're posting consistently. Your people want to know what you're doing. They want to know what to expect. When you think about it, most people don't like surprises, right? We want to know what's happening. We like routine. So build a routine for your business that's going to allow you to reach more clients and get them to expect and anticipate what you're doing. So I want you guys to take a moment today and think about what are you doing in your business consistently that's working or what can you improve upon that you can consistently do to get clients? Because I see it over and over and over that when people are struggling with their business and they're trying to figure out why isn't it working, it's because they're not consistent. And then the second thing I want to talk about is persistence and being really like not giving up because this is the other biggie. I just see people give up. It didn't work the first time, so they give up. It didn't work maybe the second time, so they give up. And they walk away from their dream. And it really, truly breaks my heart to see that happen because they have a passion. They wouldn't have started a business in the first place, right? To create a spiritual business, to be able to step out with the gifts that you guys have. First of all, it's a little nerve wracking because most people aren't stepping out as intuitives and mediums and, and uh, you know, in life coaching and kind of an intuitive way and a hypnotherapist and like people aren't stepping out that way. First of all, to be an, uh, an entrepreneur to begin with is a, is a, is a big thing. Thing, right? It's like there's a really tiny percentage of people that actually do it. And so, right, right. It's about keeping going until you succeed. Thank you for the comment down there. It's, uh, it's really, you have to keep going. And I see it so often. Like I said, it breaks my heart to see people just give up. And a business is a living, breathing entity. It doesn't just work right off the bat. It, it might, and that would be so awesome for you if it did but it takes work, it takes persistence, it takes you to like do things consistently and get out there and really step out and put yourself out there to serve. Because you're not serving if you're being inconsistent, you're not serving if you're sitting at home and uh, hey, Andrew, <laughs> you're not serving if you're sitting at home and uh, thinking about, oh, when is the next time I might email my people? Or when is the next time I might do my Facebook video? It just doesn't work that way, guys. You have to be out there consistently. And just really, your motto should be like, don't give in. Don't give in and don't give up. Don't give in to that uh, day job. You know how people look at you? If you are really serious about your spiritual business and you've been trying to make it work, you might be at the point where someone says, uh, Ooh, uh, maybe you should get like a regular job. 
And it just makes every hair in your body stand up on end. You know that's not what you should be doing. You should not be working a quote unquote regular job. So don't give in to that. Live your dream and really get out there and step out in a big way so that you're serving because you are not serving, sitting at home, trying to figure out what to do. Hello, guys. We got Canada in the room. We've got New Zealand in the room. This is really cool. So Jedi asked, he says, how often do I recommend? So you really have to kind of feel out your tribe. And here's my thing. It's not about frequency of like every day or every other day. It is really about that you are delivering really great content. So if you're delivering really great content consistently, even if it's once a week, twice a week, however you define it, but it has to be really good content. Because if you're consistent and you say you're posting like, you know, every other day or a couple times a week doing a video, but you're talking about nonsense, you're not actually adding value to people and to their lives, then don't do it. So remember, everything you do has to come from a place of service. So you make sure that that's what you're doing. So if you're going to post, post consistently. Give it some thought, guys. Successful businesses don't happen just because you're winging it. There is truly a plan. There is a strategy to creating your spiritual business. And being consistent is it, but really, you know, keeping that mindfulness uh, approach in how you're serving your clients. So you have to ask yourself, is what I'm about to do really going to serve them? Because if it's not going to serve them and you're out there really just posting or um, doing a video just because you're supposed to, I'd rather have you not do it. But if you can deliver amazing, amazing content, then absolutely set up a schedule. I would say twice a week. Um, I think I'm in here when I'm not sick. Uh, and again, at the beginning, I did apologize to people. I have had a cold and I haven't been able to be on camera with you guys without coughing up a lung. So things come up, but once or twice a week at a minimum, but again, only if you're delivering amazing content. So you guys need to be consistent in what you're doing because consistency pays off. It's amazing. If you continue to do things, and again, I love to use the gym example. You can't go to the gym once and come home with like ripped abs. It just doesn't happen. It would be fantastic if it did, but it doesn't. So you can't expect your business to take off if you try something once. It is just, it's not possible. And that your business is a living, breathing thing. You're welcome, Jedi. So your business is a living, breathing thing. So you have to remember that, first of all, your business is a direct reflection of you. So wherever you are in your life and what you're feeling, your energy directly impacts your business. And I'll give an example. So like I mentioned, I was I was sick. I was doing a, a like two and a half weeks ago ish. I was like literally bedridden. And it's funny. I have an entire team in place to keep my business running. But the week that I was sick, I could actually see all the things drop. Our sales dropped, our production dropped, like everything kind of dipped because I was sick. And that was so clear to me that that my vibration, what I'm bringing to my business is so key. So our businesses are a mirror of ourselves. So you got to make sure that you are in alignment and in vibration with what you're doing. And then once you're in that vibrational alignment, step out in a really big way. But remember, it is a living, breathing thing. It's going to ebb. It's going to flow. You're going to have a flow of customers, and then it's probably going to ebb a little bit, and you're not going to have as many. But be prepared for that. Understand that. Get that it is a living, breathing entity and that things sometimes won't work. And when things don't work, try it again. And if it doesn't work a second time, try it again. Because giving up will get you nowhere. And when you give up, you won't be serving anybody. So do not give in to the whole go get another job. Do not give up on your dream because you are here to change lives. It's amazing. In my spiritual biz boot camp, the group of people in there right now is it's unbelievable. Like I, I just can't believe the lives that they're changing and the ripple effect that they're having on the planet. I just have never seen anything like it. And I truly get goosebumps every time that um, we're, we're together. We had a beautiful call today. Truly, they are changing lives and having an impact on the planet. And it's so unbelievable. And they're coming from a place of just service to, to others. They're out there doing it. So if you're not out there serving, you're not living your purpose, guys. You really need to rethink of what you're doing. But if you are serving, if you're out there, you've got the clients, and you are damn serious about taking your business to another level, then private message me and we can have a chat. Because my Spiritual Biz Boot Camp is changing lives in a, in a ridiculous way. And I'm just uh, really blown away. But it's not just me. It's really about you guys. So if you guys are ready to step it up and bring it to the group and really get out there and serve in a big way, then uh, let me know. But guys, remember, be consistent and be persistent and do not give up on your business. 
all it takes is one day to give up your energy shifts and then you it's like you're starting from scratch so that's all i have i'm gonna look at the comments really quick because i saw a bunch of stuff coming in and uh i didn't get a chance to read them all so andrew how's it going and then uh jedi hello hello yvette hello john in canada and yeah, what else? We have Kentucky. Hello, Blake. How are you? And Michelle, you're welcome for all of my my wisdom. <laughs> and then so, yeah, guys, get out there and do what you need to do. And uh, great. And, and Jedi has been watching my content for a month now. And yeah, you've got to focus on getting out there. You guys have got to do it. Like there's really, I, I always say, like, what are you doing if you're not serving? Like, why are we here? If you're going to a regular day job, like, what are you doing? If it's not feeding your soul, like, you really have to stop and say, is this what I was put on this planet for? Did all that? Hey, Stacy, Stacy's in the boot camp. She just had her first package sale today. Congratulations, Stacy. That was amazing. And uh, her Facebook group is totally taking off. It's, like, incredible to watch her do what she does. But, um, but guys, like, if you're doing that nine to five and your soul isn't being fed, you really got to stop and ask yourself, what the hell am I doing? Because you were not like put on this planet. Think of all the things that had to happen for you to physically be sitting where you are today. Parents meeting, the ability of, of just how like Agensburg comes together and creates a human being. Like it's magnificent. It's, it's incredible. So you guys are here for a reason. And it's not to be working a job where you are sitting and miserable and at a low vibration. It's so important right now on this planet <clears throat> for us to raise our vibration and really be having the ripple effect because this is what it's all about right now. So, <laughs> and the cough is coming back, so I'm going to have to go. So you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I will be hopping back in again twice a week next week when I'm not coughing. And uh, if you guys are serious about your business, reach out, uh, private message me, and um, I will see you guys next week. Have a beautiful weekend and uh, do what you're supposed to be doing. Live your purpose and don't let anyone stop you from doing that. Have a beautiful day, guys.